Welcome back. Well, here's the current view looking out from Bethany Lutheran College in Mankato. Not a whole lot going on, and that's how it's going to be today. The biggest thing we're going to notice is just more cloud coverage than we have been seeing any other time this week. Temperature wise, very similar to yesterday morning, 30s and 40s for the most part. We are as low as 29 degrees in Mason City with 30 in Albert Lee and Forest City. 34 degrees in Blue Worth with 39 here in Mankato as well as St. Peter, Wyndham and Jackson. We're sitting at 41 in Slayton as well as Wasika with up to 47 degrees in Redwood Falls. Winds thankfully nice and light. Temperatures are a little bit cooler, so if we had some stronger winds, we would be dealing with a more bitter chill in the air with a wind chill, but don't really have to worry about that today. Coming out of the north, northeast, anywhere from calm conditions up to 10 miles an hour. Satellite radar imagery showing that we are mostly cloudy out there now. We got a little bit of rain up to the northwest of us. That's not really going to make its way down here. We're not really looking at any rain in our area, area until overnight tonight into tomorrow. So let's talk about that again. Could see a little bit of morning sunshine, but then those clouds are going to quickly move in, becoming mostly cloudy. We'll still see a few pockets of sunshine, so we're not going to totally lose that sun. Now, we are going to notice a little bit of a breeze move into the area as the day goes on, with those rain chances starting to move in after midnight to tonight into tomorrow morning. The one thing I want to point out is... We have been consistently talking about those dry conditions and how that has been preventing us to get that rain down here at the surface. That being said, that is still likely to happen with this rain event. However, with this rain starting overnight, it will eventually saturate the air. So the areas that may see the most amount of rain will be along and south of I-90. Anything above I-90 into the Mankato, New Prague, Wasika areas, may end up evaporating before reaching us. That being said, we're watching these conditions very closely because we desperately need this rain and we need to know, are we gonna get it or are we not gonna get it? And um, with this rain moving in early, or I guess late tonight or early tomorrow morning, however you wanna look at it, it will eventually, like I said, saturate the air. So we could see a few light sprinkles later in the afternoon, at least here in Mankato, Wasika, New Prague. But again, most of that rain will fall along and south of I-90 into northern Iowa. I know that's not quite our area, but at least it's a start and that will help for future rain events coming our way. That rain will start to clear as we make our way into late tomorrow night with those clouds following, making way for some sunshine by Friday. 68 for the high today, not too bad temperature wise, pleasant with mostly cloudy skies, a light breeze moving into the area. We're going to hold on to that breeze tonight and it's going to get windier as we go into the weekend, so keep that in mind. Stray shower or two possible again, mainly along and south of I-90 as we drop to low 42 degrees by tomorrow morning. Here's a look at your extended forecast. We've got temperatures drop going in from the upper 60s to the low 50s tomorrow and Friday. We'll hold on to that sunshine on Friday, which is great. Get out there, take advantage of it, because as we go into the weekend, temperatures are going to continue to drop into the mid-30s by Sunday. Anyone that's going to be out and about, whether it's Saturday or Sunday, for those St. Patrick's Day festivities, you're going to want to dress a little warm. It's going to be not only cool or chilly out there, but blustery. We're looking at really strong winds. Temperatures will stay in the 30s on Monday and then slowly rise to near seasonal conditions um, anywhere through next week in the 40s and 50s. Stay tuned, we'll be back after the break.